Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Digital Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to use Aperture Diffraction in DaVinci Resolve. Let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now, we are on the edit page and here I have in my timeline a clip that I shot in uh, Akihabara, Japan. So there is quite a lot of neon, we have uh, interesting all light and we're going to try to enhance that by using the aperture diffraction effect. To do it, we're going to go to effect library, down to open effects and here we're going to search for resolve FX light and we're going to drag aperture diffraction directly onto our clip. As you can see, it's affecting all the highlight in our image and we have both a glow and some sort of of a start shape that is appearing on our highlight. To see that properly, we can here select the output just to show only the diffraction and how the pattern is affecting the image. So selected output is a really great way to uh, see each element that is constituting your image and effect. So here you can click on isolated sources. It will just show you uh, which area will be affected. Uh, then preview aperture. It will just show you uh, the hexagon of the aperture. Uh, then you have preview of diffraction which show you uh, the diffraction that is happening so the star that i was mentioning earlier and here diffraction pattern alone which is basically the effect and how the effect is affecting the image and here we can just click in final composite and it will give us just a final image with the effect applied you have a bunch of different parameters that you can choose from here you can choose the iris shape so for now it's an hexagon but we can choose for example a pentagon or an octagon it will affect the shape of our star i'm gonna go back to diffraction pattern alone so you can see our hitch slider is affecting the effect. So here, aperture size, it's basically uh, spreading kind of as a glow and blur. And when you put it at the maximum, it's just very sharp and not blurry at all. Here you also have blade curvature that seems to also affect the sharpness of the image. You have rotation, so you can make the star rotate. You can also keyframe that if you wish. You can also adjust the HNV ratio, which is basically gonna uh, either uh, stretch horizontally or stretch vertically those ray of light. You can adjust again here uh, the angle which is actually similar to the rotation and you can also adjust the chroma shift so uh, if you put the slider in that direction you will go more towards the red and if you go in the other direction that go more towards uh, the blue so it could be also something that you can use to create a, a retro effect for example uh, going more towards like warm tone and red you can adjust the result gamma and the result scale to basically control the spread and the size of your ray if you want to have something that take uh, quite a lot of your clip or if you want to have something that is more subtle you can adjust that right here and here in compositing control you have control over the brightness you can make it dimmer or you can make it brighter it's up to you you can also colorize uh, here the ray of light if you want if you want to make it red for example you can do that right here and then pushing the slider colorize if you want everything gonna turn uh, red. Uh, I will not recommend to use that but if you want to use it because uh, you want to give it like again for example a slightly vintage uh, feel by adding more warm color uh, it's something that you can do. And here we go we have our effect. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye! Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.